Hi guys, Alon Sage from Calls Boutique here again and I have this Nash T52 and today I'm gonna detach and reinstall pickups on this guitar and I'm gonna teach you the entire process including the soldering and everything that comes along with this job. Let's do this. Of course we need some tools, we have our string cutter, our very very long screwdriver, this nice electronic cutter, of course a set of string when we finish the job we require a new set of strings and of course our soldering station yeah let's de-string the guitar okay so these pickups are connected to the switch over here the two hot wires from these pickups are connected to this switch but sometimes the the ground wire not the hot wire but the ground wire will not be connected underneath this plate usually or sometimes it will be connected underneath this cavity so you should really check out where uh, the black wires are connected and then disconnected from there but for this guitar because I already installed the pickups before um, these black, black wires are connected to the uh, ground over here so I'll just cut them out like so and I will leave those tiny ends just so I can remember where everything was connected before okay this is the hot wire from the neck pickup so once again I'll cut it and I will leave the end over here so I can remember where to wire everything back and this is the bridge pickup wire still I have this this end I have both these ends to remind me exactly where to wire things up now I'll just unscrew the pickups and gently pull the pickup like so do the same for the bridge now do the same like so to replace a bridge pickup just need to unscrew it out of this plate if you're replacing uh, the old pickup to a new one this is time to replace those uh, screws and rubber tubes put on some new ones of course I don't want to replace my pickups on my guitars I'm just doing this video to show you how so I will not replace these screws and tubes but this is exactly how it goes you insert your screws that kind of holes and use these tubes and place them directly onto the screws like so you take your new pickup or the different pickup or even the same like I'm doing right now and you gently place the screws inside the holes really really gently and start screwing everything back together again like so well for the neck pickup it's relatively simple just need to screw 
the, your new screws into these tiny little holes here. See, every neck pickup has this tiny hole which can be uh, used to uh, place this pickup directly onto the wood like in my guitar or you can use it to install the pickup on top of a pickguard but as I said my guitar is uh, loaded with those pickups directly uh, onto the body so this is exactly what we'll do you use this screw and all the way to the end and replace the rubber tubing onto the screw like so okay let's reintroduce the pickups to the guitar we have this hole here usually I will start with the neck position some guitars have a cavity over here uh, or a hole uh, for the wires so usually I will start with the neck position because if I do the bridge position I might not be able to uh, insert the wires correctly so always using the neck position as a starter is easier I have this hole here and this pickup is inserted all the way till the wires come out of this hole here and I'll insert the new pickup exactly to the same place where the former pickup used to be. Now I have these two wires coming out of here and I'll do the same with the bridge and the bridge pickup. And placing it directly over the cavity like so now screwing back bridge screws noise and toit so we're now at our wiring station and I'm gonna wire these wires back to the switch. This used to be connected right over here. And this is exactly what I'm gonna do right now. You're probably asking yourself, how is it that I'm touching with my bare hands this extremely hot wire? Well, what can I say I've been doing this for so many years now? I have a really, really thick skin. My fingertips. And this is the white wire from the bridge pickup. I'll wire it exactly to the same spot where it got disconnected from. For the two black wires, I can reconnect them. First I'll connect them to each other, just because it's easier to solder everything as a group. This is an extremely high quality soldering iron. It has a uh, flux in it, so I don't use additional flux.
let's disconnect those two wires and reconnect the new ones to the ground. everything is connected it's really really nice we can strip off our guard here and place everything back into the cavity like so now we need to check that our solderings are correct and everything works. So I'll just plug the guitar and use my extremely long screwdriver just to tap. Now it's time for a cleanup and some string installation. It's time to tune the guitar. Now it's our time to uh, adjust the pickup heights. Well, we do have a video about pickup adjustments, so watch that video and we'll explain to you exactly how to adjust these correctly. I'm very happy with this result. I hope this video was helpful for you and if you have any comments or questions you can leave them below and we'll try to answer each and every one of you. Subscribe, share, like, all the best guys.